Good morning friends. We are with the seventh video on VBOT tutorial and today we are going to implement an obstacle avoidance controller. So from last two videos we learned how to make a robot and how to add sensors. If you are new to this video do watch tutorial 5 and 6. So Today, we'll start. First of all, for a controller to understand that what is a sensor, what are wheels, we need to change the names of wheels. So, if we go to first device, and inside device, we'll change the name to wheel 1 then similarly we will go in other device and name it as wheel 2 in the third device <coughs> sorry there will be name 3 wheel 3 okay and last device will be name 4 so we have four wheels which has the names and one more thing we define the rotation of wheel about a point which was defined in this translation but now we will have to put the joint torque parameters anchor as the same so <coughs> 0 0.06 0 0.05 these are the anchor values which define the axis of rotation so this anchor is equal to the let me close this device now this anchor value should be equal to the translation similarly we go to the next in joint and we check the translation here so it will be minus zero 0 0.06 0 and 0 0.05 you can see the values here similarly to the third hinge joint we will have anchor in the end point it's 0 0.06 0 and minus 0 0.05 So we have and last anchor will be minus 0 0.06 0 and minus 0 0.05 this is just to have our axis aligned with the axis of wheels so now we'll make a controller or robot so we'll go to wizard make new robot controller let's do it in C++ this time and we'll save it as obstacle avoidance next so these files will be made and now I have a code ready for obstacle avoidance. I'll keep a link below where you can get this code. This is an official code given by VBOT. So we'll put this code here. Save it. 
to the save button first we'll run the code and then we'll understand line wise how does it work so we go in robot we go in controllers and select obstacle avoidance controller which we just made we'll build the code and we'll we'll first save the changes yeah we'll build the code nothing to build and we'll start the simulation so you can see a robot is working it's going straight and when it sees an obstacle it rotates before obstructing so we have successfully implemented the obstacle avoidance node now let's go through the code how does it work so we import distance sensor motor and robot these are the libraries which enable us to see the distance from distance sensor and give the motion to motor then we define a time step and we define an instance of robot as a pointer in dynamic memory then we name our sensors as ds right ds left which we named it in our robot node so we save them and we enable we enable the time step so for at every 64 milliseconds we will get a uh, distance from these two sensors we also use a uh, pointer to motor and we have four wheels so this will be the four motors so wheel 1 wheel 2 wheel 3 wheel 4 so we save these names in get motor and we set set, set its position to infinity so that our motors can go till infinity and we set its initial velocity to be zero now after this now uh, obstacle avoidance works so in this while loop what we have is if we see the reading which goes below 950 we have a counter our counter sets to 100 and then if the counter is zero we turn right and if the counter is zero and we don't see an obstacle we go straight because one one will lead us to straight and then we save these velocities in so both the right wheels get right speed and both the left wheels will get left speed so and at the end we delete the instance of robot when we are done with the code because it's allocated in the dynamic memory so this is all about obstacle avoidance code you can use the code and play around with it if you have any doubts you can put it into comment so till then this was an obstacle avoidance implementation if you like the video do share and do try it yourself and see how this cool robot which you made actually works in the environment thanks for watching do subscribe